Oh, oh hey! Oh, we're filming a video today? Oh, okay. Be right back. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to it. Today we're doing another what's on my iPhone and I have the iPhone 12 Pro. There's what she looks like. All of her beauty without a case. Let me tell you, I've spent all morning downloading fun apps, trying them out, making sure that they are worthy of this video. Literally just recustomized my entire phone with iOS 14. Did that this morning too. I'll just say it's taking about three hours. But I did download an app that made the whole changing the icons thing very easy. So I'll show you that at some point in this video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and just get right on into this. First, really quickly, before we start getting into the main part of this video, I wanted to stop and talk about today's video sponsor, which is Casetify. You all know I literally love Casetify with my whole heart. I have a whole beautiful collection. So like I said, Casetify's cases are both slim and protective, and their cases are built with a two-layer construction of Chita, and they're drop tested approved for up to 6.6 .6 foot drops. So much more protective than those alternatives that you would find on Amazon. Highly worth it. They also come in so many different designs and can be personalized. You can add your name or a monogram in so many different fonts and colors. They're partially made of recycled plastic, so you can feel good about your phone case looking good. Let's go do a quick little drop test and show you exactly what Case Defy cases are made of. So this is what the phone looks like before. No scratches at all on the case or the phone itself. So we're going to stand up here. Pretty good distance, I feel like. All good. And here's the after. Literally no problems at all. So as you saw, their cases provide both protection with personality. It's definitely the best of both worlds. They also have antimicrobial coating on the phone cases, so it's keeping your case germ-free that kills 99% of bacteria. So if you're interested in Case Defy, which you definitely should be, you can head to casedefy.com slash juliakchris to get 15% off of your purchase today. Okay, starting off, here's my lock screen. It is just a little collage from Canva that I made myself for the spring with just some cute quotes and then some aesthetic pictures. And moving on into the home screen, which is beautiful, let me tell you. So good. <laughs> like I said, I literally spent all morning doing this and I am so proud of it. So first off, we have this first page. I have some widgets. I have a make your dreams happen. I just feel like it's really cute. I love the colors and it's a motivating quote. Um, then I have this little to-do list right here. Whoops. And you can click on that and then it like goes to that and shows me what I have to do today, which I already did that. So we can check it off as we go. Um, and then that's what it looks like. I just love it. I show you how to do that in like all of my iOS 14 setup videos. So gosh, one of those if you want to figure out how to do that. Um, then we have YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and my calendar. So YouTube is definitely an app that I use like every day. Um, obviously checking in on my channel and responding to comments and stuff on here. Love that. Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. This is my page. I'll show you. I like post on my story like every day. So here are just some of the updates, like <laughs> Luna. This is just like what my average story looks like in a day. Sometimes it's fun. I make it just seem like it's my prep story and I post random pictures that I normally wouldn't share on social media. I'm trying to be more fun and transparent and actually me on my Instagram um, rather than just posting over edited pictures all the time. Then I have TikTok. I love TikTok. I spend so much time on TikTok. It's so bad, um, but it's so fun. I obviously post my own. Go follow me on over there. I literally post the random stuff like, look, I got roller skates and had to make this TikTok. <laughs> Amazing. And my calendar app, which I actually use often. Um, anytime somebody tells me a date or something or like Luna's vet appointments for example I throw it in my calendar so that whenever I'm planning out my week I come and look on my phone calendar and add that onto like my weekly spread so looks like I had a photo shoot on Monday I obviously don't have much the rest of the week I have to cancel my DoorDash plan on Saturday <laughs> uh, but yeah and then a widget um, widget Smith widget just saying today's date love that Oh, and then my ones at the bottom obviously messages snapchat and phone um, then we have Pinterest if you don't follow me on Pinterest, you definitely should. I actually have a pretty big Pinterest following, and I don't know why. We have 69,000 followers, though. It's pretty fun. Um, I feel like I definitely need to go and like update my boards. Oh my gosh, you're seeing all like the secrets, like all my recipes. <laughs> um, then my photos. My camera roll is so bad. I have 16,000 photos, so I definitely need to go through and clean those up. All my favorites, some pictures I took. 
getting another sneak peek. Um, settings, App Store, Facebook, don't get on that often. Notes, I love notes. I'm not gonna go into it because I have like all my phone passwords and stuff in that, but I have like different folders in my notes for certain things. So I have like a gratitude list, list, note thing, then one for like passwords and then just random. So I love that. Twitter, honestly, don't get on it that often. Mail, I keep all of my mail. Like I have like seven different email addresses and I have them all on my phone, but I don't have them all on my computer. So my phone is definitely like the main way that I check my email. Apple Music, I love Apple Music. I actually have a playlist that I've shared a couple times, but you guys always ask about it. It's called Ice Vanilla Latte B by Kiara Gray. I love it. It's just such a cute, like, little vibey playlist, kind of like, gives me like granola vibes, I guess. Um, I love it. Then my banking app and Lightroom, which honestly I haven't used very often lately because I switched my editing, which we will go to in a second. Um, I only use it to edit photos for other Instagram accounts that I run, basically. As you can see, like my sorority's Instagram. <laughs> There's my sister's senior photos. Um, but yeah, that's Lightroom. Group me for sorority business. Like I said, that's how we all communicate. Canva. You guys know I love Canva. Literally love with them. And you know, based on one of my other videos that I actually do work with them now, which is so exciting. Um, so here's me and what I do on my, on my Canva. Just a bunch of fun little designs, obviously thumbnails, YouTube stuff, other things for other Instagram accounts that I run. So definitely a great app. Venmo, we love it. Definitely need in college. Visco, which I don't even remember last time I was on Visco. Oh, yep, March 17th when I got my car. <laughs> then we have another cute little widget right there. Long one. Oh, wait, and that's it. Oh, well, that's it for like, that's all my home screen. Those are just like my main apps that I honestly use like every day usually. Um, obviously some of them I said I don't get on very often so I might as well just take them off there. Um, but those are like my main apps. And then over here in the app library, I have all my other ones so that they're not like out on my screen. So my screen looks aesthetic and then my app library has everything. And I mainly wanted to show you guys all my recently added ones because here, I'll just give you a little quick, quick scroll of all my other ones, but I feel like I've shown these in every single what's on my iPhone video that I've ever done, so you're probably getting used to it, <laughs> and you already know, so I'm just going to go into my recently added apps and show you all these amazing things. So first, we have, I'm going to go to my favorite one, we're going to go to Terrarium, and basically, there's a lot of ads. Oh, <gasps> We have to watch the ad, I'm so sorry. So basically, this thing, you, oh, we love this ad, what the heck? <laughs> so basically, this app is so fun. It allows you to build a little, like, plant garden, and you can level up your little plants and grow them and give them oxygen, and you win a lot of other stuff by watching the ads, so I always watch the ads, which is so bad. <laughs> Wow, look at all that coin. Oh my gosh, we are rich right now. So basically right now, all of my little plants are like giving off a little oxygen. And you can tap on them to get more. So then you can upgrade your plants. Oh gosh, we gotta do it. So they all just grew. Did you see that? Very cute. So, oh, we're gonna do it again. Oh, now we're out of money. Holy cow, why is that one so expensive? Okay, see, I will sit here like for hours like I sat here for a whole hour doing this this morning and that's part of why doing this all took so long um, but you get the idea on that one <laughs> next up unidays so um, this is mainly for like college students um, and basically it's just a way for you to get a bunch of different discounts and offers and stuff while you're in college and I thought it was great because you're only in college for like four or five years and I don't want to waste my opportunity to get discounts while I'm here. So that's fun. Um, Stick and Shake, I don't know why that's there. I don't even remember downloading that. So this app is a one that you can like create home screens with, but it makes you pay $10 to have them do it all for you. So I found a different one that's free and it's called Brass and it makes you try to pay, but if you click continue free without ads, you're gonna have to watch a bunch of ads for this app, I'm promising you. But basically what it does is you can pick a theme and individually download each app Bro, go away. So they have a bunch of these little themes. Um, here's the one I had. I picked neutral and it's so cute. Okay, so you would click set up theme, easy install, and then you select 
which ones that you want if you see that and then oh they have widgets too I didn't do that part um, and then you continue and then you literally have to watch an ad every single little app which that's why it took me so long is because I'm sitting there watching an ad between everything so it's nice if you're like getting ready and straightening your hair um, just cl click and watch an ad and then keep doing what you're doing and just do it over and over you know um, and then eventually you'll click continue and it takes you through the rest of the steps to get it but you basically just download it to your settings and they do it all for you which is really nice really hope it's not a scam because that'd be bad but I did it so we can all go down together I guess if it is uh, but yeah so don't get this one I need to delete it anyways next up I have three plant apps because I like plants I just struggle to keep them alive so if you can see my snake plant is literally dying and I don't even know how I killed this because I heard this is like the easiest plant to take care of and I'm killing it so <laughs> so we have plant net this one you basically just take a picture of a plant and then it'll identify what kind of plant that is so let's see if it can get this one right even though it's literally dead yeah and then planta is really fun because this one helps you try to keep your plant alive so I took a picture of it and it tells me like I need how often I need to water it and like all these other tips so that's really nice and then a picture of this I think is the same idea continue yeah so you can take pictures of things and that will tell you how to identify it next up I have Luca and Gray so I downloaded this app it's Aspen Overt's app her fashion line um, she's an influencer if you don't know who she is and she sells all these cute little things but they're so expensive uh, but she was doing like a grab sale grab bag thing where you could like buy pay like $75 and get like six items or something so I downloaded it to get that sorry you guys are, like seeing my friend snapchat me <laughs> I downloaded it to get that but now I don't know where it went I they might be sold out so it's fine <laughs> next we have just dance now we're going to do my first dance what should we do see that all oh, perfect <laughs> but it like shows your progress right here and you play I think that's so fun next we have grabbed and this I just found out from a follower basically you can make like lists of places that you want to go so like if you ever see something on Instagram or are around and you see a little coffee shop that you really want to go to but you don't have time to go to right now you can add it to a list of like things you want to try or I made a whole like list for a Chicago trip and you just add those little places to the list. So my Chicago trip, I'm not gonna lie, I've pretty much added places that I've already been to because I really liked it. Um, so this is what it looks like and it's really fun. So I can like anytime I actually, whenever I go to Chicago, I can actually look at this and plan it out, which is really fun because I think it also lets you look at places to stay, things to do, and food and drinks. So that's really nice. We have Dream Fora. This one is really cool. It's basically like a goal setting type of thing, or not really goal setting, but like making you work towards your dreams, kind of. Um, so I'll just show you what it looks like. So you pick some interests. Next. And then it's going to give you like a little goal list. I'm going to do grow my own YouTube channel. So then it's going to break down all these things and give you examples. So create the YouTube channel, post a video, build genuine relationship with followers, create content, edit videos. Like it's literally so cool because it breaks it all down for you and then gives you some notes. And you can obviously customize it yourself because obviously I've already done all these things, but I could like customize them as to like fit me with like actually growing my channel more and stuff so I think that's really cool. Next I have my Discover app because I just got a credit card and then 365 Gratitude. I actually don't know if I've opened this yet. Basically this one is to help you practice gratitude every day. Um, oh so cute. I'm great. Oh so each day it'll give me something like this so you'll read through it, take a deep breath, think about it so then you'll write what am I most grateful for today then write down three amazing things that happened today 
And then you do that each day, and I just think it's so cute because it's on my phone. I do have like the five minute journal, but I always forget to do it. So I think if I had this app on my phone and it always comes up with like a reminder, that would definitely be easy. Okay, so lastly, as promised, I will show you all how I've been editing my Instagram photos lately. Um, and all you really need is one app, and it's called Tezza. And I do this all for free. I know there's like a paid version of this app. Um, lately, I've been using just the free filter that comes on it. So we're going to add a photo and then click edit and I've been using the vintage filter and honestly right there is really cute it's all really good um, but I like to do a couple more adjustments so sometimes it really depends on the photo and what colors are in the photo um, but sometimes I'll drag this down if it's like too crazy of an edit and then I usually go into the brightness and bring that up a bit because I love my photos being super bright and happy yeah so it looks like I've been bringing the brightness up to six the exposure to one Contrast to negative two. That is how you can get that type of look all for free, baby Hopefully you found some great apps that you can download. I definitely suggest the plant one. It's just so relaxing and fun Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you keep your eye out for some new Apple unboxings Hint hint. They just released a bunch of new products. So I'm going to have a bunch to unbox for you all I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you here again in my next video